Hey guys, Apollo here, and today I'll be building the throne room of Olympus. Uh, as you can tell, I'm obviously not starting from scratch. I've got this massive disc right here, uh, and that's because it'd be really, really boring to just watch me fill this thing in and mutter under my breath as I try to calculate the damn thing. But uh, now that this is done, let's get going. So the first thing we're going to do is make the thrones, which is what all these gold blocks are for. Uh, but first, just in case you were wondering, this is a, I believe, 63 block diameter circle, just in case you were planning on building this yourself. So uh, let's get down and build these thrones. So to build these chairs, you're going to take this middle block and you're going to go down two and over two, and then build up three, and then do that on all sides. Two, one, two. Then you're going to go to e either side of the chair and build up three. Go to the back and fill the whole thing out. across the front, like that. You can take out the middle block if you like. Fill in the top. And here you have the bottom. Oh wait, I totally forgot this part. And over on this side. There you go. Now you have the bottom of your chair. So now I've got to work on the back. This is just going to be one block wide. Ah. And you're going to build up 7, 8, 8, 8, 7. Well, let's do that now. Okay, that's the back of your chair. Now we got to build the arms. So go to the second level of the back, find the edge, and connect it up like that. Do it on both sides, and that's your chair done. Let's take a look at our handiwork. Alrighty, so we're going to be building this here, 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 and here. And those are all going to be facing the same direction as this. And then on the opposite side, those ones there, will be facing in the opposite direction. And then these three on top here will be facing out there in the middle. You guessed it, right towards the middle. So I will be back when that is done. Next up are the columns, and they go around the outside as shown here. There are a couple behind the chairs in the back. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to make those now. So for each of these, you're going to want to take pillar quartz and stack it up 21 high on each side. So let's just do one on each side. So we can just do 20 on each. Here you go. And the rest of these you can just match up to the same height. Easy peasy. You don't even have to count. Imagine that. And remember to get the gold on your way out. Or whatever else you're using. Okay, after that you're going to want to take normal quartz, I guess you could use any block because it's going to be hidden and it doesn't really matter, but I like using quartz, and 
just put it outside so that the bottom block of the pillar quartz is hidden. Then you take chiseled quartz and do the same thing that you just did. You put it outside the block so that the outside faces become hidden. Shouldn't take too long. There we go. Now you're going to take quartz stairs and oh, it's almost night time. Sick. Much better. Alright. So you take the stairs and you're going to want to put it on top of these plain quartz blocks. And you're going to. The, these, uh, these stairs here, you can choose which direction. I like putting them where the facing where the entrance is going to go rather than across that way. And then you just fill in the rest of these. Alright, then you're going to want to do the same thing all the way at the top up here. So just to show you again, block of quartz around the outside. And then chisel quartz outside of that. And then the tricky upside down stairs, making sure they face the same directions as the bottom ones. Alrighty, there we go. That is one pillar complete, and I will see you when I have the rest done. Just as a little side note here, for the pillar in the very back, um, it won't quite line up. See, it smashes into the chair there, and it goes off the edge, so on the bottom, just fill in as much of the pillar quartz as you can. Sorry, not pillar, the chiseled quartz as you can. And on the top, you can go around like normal. So this won't quite match up with this. And on the other side, this will not match up with that. It'll actually be over the back of the chair. But uh, other than that, it's good. Alright, here we have it. All the columns are done. So next thing we're going to do is put in the roof. Basically what that's going to be, it's not going to go all the way across. It's just going to be a couple layers built up and a little bit in. And it's going to start pretty much on the edge where it does now, maybe a little bit further out. And it'll go probably three to five layers in towards the middle. I will see you when I have that done. Alrighty, here we are with the roof in. And just want to give you a look. I'm not sure of the exact dimensions, but... Here, this is what it looks like from the outside. I could put stairs in, but I think that would just make it look a bit too round for what I'm looking for. Uh, also, just added a little bit of decoration. Not sure if you could tell. On the inside, in the middle layer, it is striped. Pillared quartz. Alright, so next thing we're going to do, I believe is put in stairs around the outside on the bottom just so we can make it seem a little bit more like a building okay see you on the other side alright here we are with the steps on the bottom done and I think that leaves the last thing to do is uh, decorate so I'll see you with decorating step one Okay, here we are, decorating part one. So in this, we are going to start putting together the decorations for the thrones. Uh, we're also going to establish who is sitting where. So let's just start here, and we'll work our way around. So this one is orange, and is going to be the Festus. So for each one of these, we're going to knock out these blocks here, and replace it with the color that we get. So next one over, 
light blue. Ah, tricky flying here. There we go. Alright, light blue is going to be Hermes. Next thrown over. Yellow, it's Apollo. Here is my throne. What is with my flying today? Correctly, yes, it is. All right. Next throne is purple for Dionysus. And red, Ares. You'll notice that all of these are male gods, and that is intentional. Almost night. There we go. I have all the male gods on one side, and then all the female gods and Hades on the other. Here we got blue, and that is for Poseidon, brother and right hand man of Lord Zeus. And of course, he's on the right hand side of here. Light, oh, sorry, cyan. Blue, cyan is going to be Zeus in the middle. And to his other side, we start the female gods. And by female gods, of course, I mean goddesses. With Hera, who's going to be using brown. Next to her is the gray-eyed Athena. Hence the gray wool. Also, I liked how Athena was opposite of Ares. They're both sort of war gods. And then I also have green for Demeter being opposite Dionysus. I know they're not technically too related uh, in what they're gods of, but I think, you know, natural stuff, growing stuff, living stuff. And of course, this is an easy matchup. We got White of the Moon for Artemis, opposite Apollo. There we go. And here we have Magenta Wool for the one and only Miss Aphrodite. I could have used pink, but magenta seemed more, you know, bold, more out there. And, of course, at the end we have black for... Oops, I'll repair that. For Hades. Alright. Just let me fix that one thing there. Alrighty, there we go. Step one of decoration complete. I will see you for step two columns. All right, here we are for decoration part two, the columns. Uh, and I'm just gonna go through this quickly and then make another jump because these uh, entities are going to disappear rather quickly and I don't think I'll have time for it. So I'll just tell, show you what I'm doing. So for Hephaestus, uh, we're gonna do furnaces. And for these, we're just gonna replace the chiseled blocks. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Uh, behind the columns of each chair. For Hermes, chests. For Apollo, where'd that go? Huh, not sure. Alright. For Apollo, gold blocks. For Dionysus, spruce wood, it's the darkest one. For Ares, block of redstone, because it looks kind of like blood. That's what I think, anyways. For Poseidon, we're gonna go ice. Oh, sorry, I have to go around this way. For Lord Zeus, diamonds. Not because it's precious, but because it, you know, looks kind of like the sky. I think, anyways. And for Hera, bricks. 
Uh, just because it's kind of homey, you know. I know she's goddess of marriage, but there wasn't any really marriage things, so, you know. Athena gets bookshelves, being the goddess of wisdom that she is. Alright, let's dump some of these out. Next up, Demeter. Can't really put wheat, so I'm gonna go with jungle leaves. Oh no, it disappeared. Alright, anyways, uh, Artemis is gonna go with blocks of iron. Because uh, it's like the moon, it's silvery. Um, Aphrodite is taking redstone lamps because redstone blocks is already taken. And let's be honest, this looks kind of like lovey dovey. It's a really pretty block, I think. And Hades gets. I could go with either obsidian or nether brick, but I think. In this case, I'm going to go with nether brick, just because it's a little bit more ominous, and the uh, obsidian would match the black too much, I think. Uh, so I will take each of these blocks and put it on the bottom and the top, and I'll see you uh, when the sun arises. Alright, see you guys. Alrighty, we are all done. Let's take a look at this from the outside. Alrighty, see you next time guys. Apollo out.